According to recent statistics, one in seven men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during his lifetime and it accounts for nearly 10% of all newly diagnosed malignancies among men. When one treats prostate cancer, you don't need to absolutely remove the prostate. You can do a prostate seed implant. It has curates that are equal to surgery with excellent quality of life preservation. I was 56 years old when I was diagnosed. I was scared out of my mind, didn't know what to do. And uh, my wife and I interviewed at the three major hospitals here in Chicago and they all wanted to remove the prostate. And when we asked questions about the side effects, they were all like very indirect and couldn't answer our questions directly um, when it came to issues like uh, urinary problems afterwards, sexual dysfunction, diapers, catheters, did not sound good. So we decided to seek other treatments, but we didn't know what else there was, was out there. And my wife found seed implant therapy, and we didn't know how to pronounce brachytherapy, so we just referred to it as seed implants. And that's how we decided to come into the uh, Chicago Prostate Cancer Center. While there are several different treatment options for men with prostate cancer, one that is sometimes overlooked is a highly effective treatment called prostate brachytherapy. Prostate brachytherapy is a minimally invasive procedure where seeds are placed into the prostate under ultrasound guidance and under a general anesthetic. Patients are often discharged one to two hours later most of the symptoms are temporary and include bladder symptoms such as increased urination, a slower stream, getting up more in the middle of the night, and a little burning with urination. Oftentimes, these symptoms resolve within a month or two. Prostate brachytherapy is one of the most cost-efficient strategies to treat prostate cancer. There's such a high likelihood of cancer control and eradication that we don't have to spend money on salvage treatments. Also, the side effect profile is so minimal that we're not spending money on managing side effects into the future, which often happen with other treatments in terms of rectal dysfunction or incontinence. The radioactive seeds that are used in prostate brachytherapy deliver radiation to a specified distance. We take advantage of the physics of these radioactive isotopes by exactly where we place them within the prostate gland. And so there is a very scientific approach to doing this, resulting in a very high dose of radiation being delivered solely to the prostate and avoiding any adjacent tissues or structures such as the bladder or the rectum. Unfortunately, prostate brachytherapy is not being offered to patients, primarily because the urologist who initially sees that patient is not motivated to send that patient out, rather to do surgery or radiation therapy at one of their own facilities. A radiation oncologist should be the one to determine whether or not you are a good candidate for seed implant therapy. And that's why it's important that if you have prostate cancer, you see a radiation oncologist to discuss your options. Unfortunately, there are three myths that patients are told by their, their diagnosing doctor about prostate cancer. One is seeds are not an option because they're too young, or if they have seeds, they cannot have surgery at a later date, or if they have surgery, they're completely cured. None of these things are true. And it's very important to meet with a radiation oncologist to truly discuss your options as to whether or not seed implant therapy is for you. As a cancer treatment survivor myself, it is absolutely critical that you know your treatment options regarding prostate cancer and especially the option of prostate seed implant. So six years after my treatment, my PSA is down to 0 0.05, which is excellent. I have no side effects. I'm back to playing hockey. I'm working full time. And I don't really know why men would have their prostate removed unless it was absolutely necessary for a medical reason I don't understand. Um, I think brachytherapy is the great unknown. I don't think men know what the word is. I don't think they know what it does. I think it really should be more like seed implants because that's what helped me. And, and I just think uh, if my wife didn't find it, I don't know what, I probably have no prostate today. Choosing the right treatment option is highly individualized and can be confusing for men and physicians alike. When it comes to our health, opting for this procedure can be life-changing. Established in 1978, the American Brachytherapy Society continues to promote the highest standard of treatment for all types of malignancies, including prostate cancer, and is dedicated to staying on the forefront of educating the next generation of physicians, maintaining superior treatment accessibility for patients around the country. I would tell someone who was recently diagnosed with prostate cancer to do their homework, to interview doctors in person like I did, and then to end up with brachytherapy and understand what it is as, as an alternative treatment. The curates are the same. And when I was diagnosed six years ago, 
I, I, we have three kids. None of them were married. Today they're all married, and we have three grandchildren, and I'm still married to the most wonderful woman in the world. To learn more about brachytherapy and about the American Brachytherapy Society, visit us online or call the number on your screen.